negative duality would slowly drive away the unfair advantage which the big players had because of their deep pockets. And I'm sure SMEs would come up with a lot of innovations which would sell and they will find a place in the market for themselves once these kind of biases go away, free apps and free kind of usages which drew a lot of customers to them. So I think it's a good thing which has happened and I think we have to now see the growth and the innovation and the minds of our country, they have to actually rise up to the challenge as well. kind of crystal gazing at this time, but uh, we can just say that yes, the opportunities, uh, because of this principle of net neutrality, the, the floor has been thrown open once again. And it's up to the people to grab the challenge and go ahead. It's, it's only time will tell, that's what I can say. One, one cannot say, but yes, definitely there is a better opportunity now, that's what it is. You know, I would like to share one more thought which what sparked when Baba said something about apps. See, uh, we are very quick to adopt things and then it suddenly explodes. So, there is an explosion of apps already uh, in the mobile world. And instead of Google browsing, I think very soon or even now we are doing app browsing. You know, we, we need to going for a search and uh, we get hundreds and thousands of apps based on those searches. So then a new idea will arise, how to make that thing, uh, you know, thought specific, nature specific, person specific. So there lies the need of big data, you know, some kind of analytics going on in the background and some somebody devising a tool for apps uh, which are tailor made to a particular person. It's already happening. You get advertisements on your uh, email browsing screens based on what you have browsed earlier uh, or what are, which all sites you have visited because some people are doing some analysis on, on your searches or your Google searches. So this this is an evolution and this process is going on and on and on. So uh, I, my uh, basically urge to the SMEs is that you know we have to think uh, to that perspective as well. what next, what if these kind of uh, thought processes and I think the field is vast and it is very creative. The other day I was attending a seminar uh, organized by NASCOM in which they were showing an example about how what big data can do and they have devised a tool where uh, the entire Mahabharata was word by word captured into uh, a database and you had characters on top and you had chapters on the side. And you could find out in which chapter so and so is occurring, in which chapter so and so is talking to so and so, in which chapter what is happening. So all these kind of you know analysis could have could have been drawn on an epic uh, of the size of Mahabharata. So uh, what I'm trying to say is that the ideas and the field is vast, and you can uh, exploit this opportunity in a, any kind of a way, you know, depending on. Uh, Anything which which you see is the need of the market, the need of the consumer. <coughs> it's a vast opportunity, a very vast opportunity. And I think net neutrality is something which is going to which is going to accelerate this process. He has given a very useful thought, you know. So we have to look for sectors where innovation can work and we, we are very fond of looking at only the IT sector and applying technology more and more or only towards sales or e-commerce. There are huge amount of sectors which are lying uh, as of now virgin because the technology is not proliferating. And one such sector is our, you know, I would urge the SMEs to do something about people who are not living in the urban areas. We have, uh, we've been working in, uh, you know, for some, some application in the agricultural sector. We, after interaction with people there, we find that there is a huge amount of uh, volume in that. You know, if we can do something, a small innovation, it can sell in very large numbers and really uh, be very profitable for the SMEs. 
you take the example of Jan Dhan Yojana, you know, one small initiative taken by the government has brought in thousands of crores of money into the circulation in the market. And this is just one thought, an innovative thought. These kind of applications which can be built for people living in the rural areas, because of the just huge numbers and if it can be sold cheap, I'm sure uh, it can be a great money spinner for any company. And uh, uh, there are a lot of, uh, uh, like uh, my interaction with some people who are working in the village level says that there are a lot of people over there who have a lot of talent. Uh, if they can be tapped and uh, the talent can be tapped commercially, some products can be achieved from them and sold in the urban market, this is a huge amount of opportunity. And IT, electronics, technology, everything can go into it. And that's what it is. say that they are the backbone, you know, because I think uh, their numbers are uh, uh, the largest. So, if you say one sentence, I would say that they are the backbone as far as we are concerned in the business in the country.